this, we do wireless power, so we do radio frequency based power. So unlike uh, coil based pad systems, we do radio frequency so we can do charging both at contact as well as at a distance. So right here you're showing a, a wireless power solution with a watch? Uh, this is showing the fitness band where we have the antenna actually around the fitness band itself. So that's receiving power. Receiving power and we also show you power uh, from this smart speaker design uh, charging the battery so, here. So how, do, how does it show that it's receiving power? Uh, this particular one is lighting up, um, but it's really mostly a function of the fitness band itself. And right here it's lighting up because it's getting yes. power? So this particular design, so once again, we're, we're a licensing company, so we're not building product, but this particular design uh, shows power at a, roughly about one foot, um, but we have technology that can be built into larger devices like computer monitors, televisions that go up to five meters away. So in the future, there will be maybe all these devices wireless? Correct, yeah, any small electronic device from tablets to fitness bands, smartphones, any small device that requires roughly 10 watts to charge or lower is kind of our sweet spot for the technology. How does this compare, that kind of a charging pad compared to a Qi or something like that? Uh, well, the, the antenna and ASIC that supports uh, charging at contact can also be charged at a distance. So you can take it off the mat and, and charge at, at distance as well. What's the, what's the uh, amount of power, that, how fast does it charge? Depends on a lot of different uh, variations of not only the transmitter but also the receiver technology. Uh, what's uh, you know when we charge a fitness band, we might be charging that at 50 milliwatts or 100 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts. A smartphone, we're going to charge on contact for smartphone. Typically, going to be in the multiples of watts, five watts, seven and a half watts, ten watt range. Um, and then at distance, we can do a couple hundred milliwatts. So it depends on the device. Can you do a two A, two amps? So we're those three amps. So we so at distance it's a dependent on transmitter and, and also application. Typically when we're talking about distance charging, we're talking at about 100 to 200 milliamps. So 100 to 200 milli milliwatts. Milliwatts. Yes. And uh, uh, does it like kind of like pick up where the device is? It targets the power exactly there, and it doesn't spread it out everywhere. So it depends. So this particular transmitter is is, is just putting power out in the local area. Um, there's no beam forming here. Our other technology we talk about with midfield and far field, we're actually doing beam forming. Where we're sending power to a specific area. Instead of much more power? Uh, so we, can, we can kind of focus the power to that device and receive more power there. And correct. there's no uh, risk for uh, health? So we're talking about small amounts of power. So we're talking about 100 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, and the amount of power we're sending out is fairly low. Uh, Transmit also has the ability to have sensors as part of the, the uh, as part of the solution, so we can turn power down or turn it off if there's people present in the in general area. So where are you based? We're in San Jose, San Jose, California. And they have a long history of doing this, or is it a new company? So the company's been around for roughly four years. Uh, most of our engineers obviously come from different semiconductor companies and different high-tech companies. So you know, many, many years of experience outside of the company itself and bringing new employees in. Are those all your inventions, or is it like, are there like other companies doing something similar? Or? Uh, we have roughly about 125 patents on this type of technology right now. We have another 170 patents pending. Uh, so the technology is not just one particular technology. It's actually it's special ASICs and antennas, uh, special uh, software algorithms to control that pocket that beam forms. So what happened with Nikola Tesla? I think he wanted to wildly transmit power, but it never happened. Yeah, no, well, he did. He did. Was he wildly... shut down because it was revolutionary? Uh, no, I don't know about that. I mean, so. Wireless power in that older uh, range was, you know, very large amounts of power at distance, uh, which you can be able to do for a long, long time. But this is uh, a more elegant solution in terms of being able to turn power up or down based on the, the receive technology, being able to track a device as it moves around the room. And it's a function of silicon ASICs, software control, and a lot of things that were obviously weren't around back in those days.